Hi, I'm Jill Hobbs with my next video, how to create full denim. I found this technique in the Holiday Painting Magazine, issue number 6, February, March 2005. Donna Reed's design is painted on a terracotta pot for Mother's Day. Over the years, I've seen versions of these on lots of picture trail websites. My version of this unique design can be found on my picture trail in the Garden and Patio album. The link is in the description box. I've used the technique today to create a denim peony on a small box canvas. This is my design for the June 2014 Bead or Charm Blog Challenge for Cuddly Bugly. This is the peony number two by Pichellas. For full step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your own or take inspiration from my design, the link can be found in the description box. Deco art products used today, Americana acrylic paints, titanium white, Prussian blue and canyon orange, plus the full glazing medium. And the brushes are three quarter wash, half angle and number one liner. This is a quick and simple effect that can be used in lots of ways. I am demonstrating today on a canvas board but it could be lots of other surfaces which include paper mache, card, wood or terracotta pots to name just a few. I have already given this a base called titanium white. White is the base colour for all surfaces used. To create the denim effect, squeeze out a puddle of glazing medium and Prussian blue. Dampen the three quarter wash brush. and remove most of the liquid. Load it with the glazing medium and then pick up some Prussian blue and paint your surface. Pick up more medium and Prussian blue as and when you need it. Add more paint if you prefer darker denim. Or more glazing medium if you prefer a lighter effect. The colour depth can be changed when it is still wet. It could even be a bit of both and the denim would look worn in places. The choice is entirely yours. When you are happy with the coverage, 
gently stroke the brush right across the entire surface in the same direction. It will create a fabric weave effect and dry thoroughly. Now you could leave this as it is and decorate it with lots of other crafty techniques and ideas or add some seams and stitches. To achieve this draw a straight line and float Prussian blue along one side of this line and dry. are created with a liner brush and slightly thinned canyon orange. Paint two lines of stitches. Most folk love their denim jeans. I've also transferred part of the peony petals. Outline with a liner brush and inky Prussian blue. Following the outer edge of the petals, taking note of petal overlap and turn backs and dry thoroughly. brush and slightly thinned canyon orange paint a single line of stitches just inside the Prussian blue line. Once again taking note of the pedal overlap and turn backs. Experienced painters could do so much more. Floating Prussian blue around the beads, and these I've marked with a cross hatching. <laughs> Under the 
circles and turn backs. Under the outside edge of the design to lift the flower off the surface. add a brush mix of Prussian blue and titanium white and highlight the design. again with a little bit of watery white so this isn't quite standing out the way I want it to.
original design the beads have been sewn on. For this demonstration I'm using the handle end of the liner brush and Prussian blue to fill in the beaded area. Original has a jeans button in the center. I have a black button to finish the look today. I hope you enjoy this technique and find lots of ways to use it. And of course, an extra special thank you to Donna Reed for the original design and technique. Until next time, happy painting! <laughs>